everybody, it's Jeremy here. We're here at Media Juice, and we've been hard at work on Video Games the Movie, and I have a really exciting announcement this week. For the last two months, we've been kind of scouring over lots of different options for the narrator, and we've looked at celebrity and non-celebrity narrators alike, and after a long process, we've decided to go with Sean Astin. As we move when you're casting, whether you're looking for a celebrity or a non-celebrity, you're looking for a lot of key things, especially for a documentary, something that's real life. You want someone that's credible, someone that's familiar, and someone that's authentic. Familiarity, we've got that nailed with Sean Astin. Whether you're a 15 year old or a 50 year old, most people know who Sean Astin is. He's been in huge films like The Goonies, Rudy, Lord of the Rings, and scores of other movies. So that part we've got down. Um, authenticity. You know, every time I hear Sean's voice, uh, whether it's in a film or a documentary, I actually think that. I think auth authenticity. I think this is a real guy. He's telling the real story here. So I feel like we've got that with Sean. Another element is passion. Sean is really passionate about the film. When he read the script, he just, he loved it. And, and that's important to me as a filmmaker, as somebody that is not just coming in to read lines and that is a celebrity, but they're coming in, they, they bring credibility, familiarity, and authenticity, but they also bring a passion, which does come across. Pioneering 8-bit games. We're talking the 1970s, AKA retro. You got Pong, Asteroids, Defender, Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Donkey Kong. The next step in the voiceover process is recording. So we found a great studio, Studiopolis. They've recorded tons of animated films and movies and voiceover. So the first step in recording is, is directing. So I would, I would spend some time with Sean going over each line and explaining, okay, this line, my intention when I wrote this line was this, and I'm kind of feeling that this needs to be, you know, read upbeat or downbeat, or it needs to have this feel. Now the, the next step is improv. Curiosity, necessity, and innovation. Necessity feels like what you want. Those big leaps can. Yeah. Yeah, I like those additions. So Sean has a lot of ideas, and you know he'd come to me and say, "Okay, with this line, what if we read it like this, or what if I said this?" So we've got the script as written, and we've got some great improv alternate takes. You put those together, and you get a really great mix of my intention as the as the filmmaker, and then the talent of of Sean, his ideas and his voice and putting those together. We had his appetite before and it sounded really good. Yeah, yeah. Our appetite for entertainment, to play puzzles and games. With revival of the industry by Nintendo, games exploded with dozens of new characters and titles like... So, uh, so another thing that's happening during the recording process is called logging. It's, it's a technical part of recording, but it's extremely important when we get back into the edit bay. So line one from the script is labeled line one, line two is line two, but then we have you know line one, take one, take two, take three. The studio engineer and his assistant are, are meticulously labeling and marking the script so that when we get back into editing, I can go through and tell the editor which takes that I like and they can use that script as a reference to go to exactly to the take that they need on each line. From scientists to industrials, from engineers to technological magicians, Now that we have Sean's voice recorded, we can bring that into Media Juice to our timeline here and replace what's called the scratch voiceover with our final voiceover. It's been fun now that we have Sean's voice uh, placed into the uh, edit timeline. It's kind of the first time that we have felt, you know, emotion from the film. For a couple of years after the crash, many people thought that American video games would be relegated to the popular fad section of 21st century encyclopedias and forgotten. So where we are now is we're going to continue moving forward with the edit. We're waiting for our motion graphics package to be finished. Music composition is in the works. We're working with Sony Music on getting some licensed songs that are really fun to put in the, into the edit. So things are going well and we look forward to seeing you in the next production diary. Thanks.